Ambassador, thank you for being here, and thanks for your willingness to, to serve our country again. You know, we're not going to, I hope we're not going to belabor the point. Other members may have questions, but I, I do think it's important to explore the speech a little further um, in October of, of 2019. And, and, I've, and I've heard both your statement here today and also your, uh, the statement from um, a spokesperson uh, for President Biden about how you regret accepting the invitation in addition to what you witnessed in terms of the predatory behavior um, uh, when you went down to, sp to speak. I am, however, uh, and I hope you can address this, uh, a bit puzzled. I mean, you, you had a, prior to accepting the speech, you had a 35-year career in the U.S. Foreign Service, so certainly the Confucius Institute was not something you were unaware of, its existence. But going back to 2014, the Association of University Professors had issued a statement uh, expressing deep concern about the Confucius Institute as a threat to academic freedom, uh, that they advocated China's state agenda, that uh, it, in their uh, recruitment and control of staff, their choice of curriculum, their restrictions on debate and so forth. In 2018, I believe it was in response to a question from me on, in the global threats hearing, uh, FBI Director Ray announced the FBI had concerns about the Confucius Institute um, and, and we're actually looking at, at their, so I mean the, the Confucius Institute and what they are doing in the US is an element of soft power and or influence has not only been well documented, but, but also I would imagine that in the 35 years of, of, of service to our country, it's something you had to have been aware of. W were you not aware of who the Confucius Institute was and the concerns about them when you accepted that speech? Senator, I am not naive about uh, uh, China's malign influence, and I know uh, very well the activities of the Confucius uh, Institute. I did accept an invitation to speak at Savannah. I'd spoken there many times before. Uh, I spoke at their commencement address in 2014. I'd done a recruitment trip there when I was Director General of uh, the Foreign Service. So I accepted the invitation as a, as a response to the university. What I was surprised about, not, what, uh, not the Confucius Institute, what I was surprised about uh, when I got there is that they had activities that went into our high schools, into our elementary schools, that I was not aware of. I did read Senator Portman's uh, report on the impact on education, and I saw um, uh, reference to that in, in the report, but I had never seen it in person uh, in the United States. I'd seen it in Africa, uh, for sure. Uh, and as I've said, I truly regret having accepted that invitation and having had my name associated uh, with the Confucius Institute. Yeah, if, if I could, and you'll correct me, is it fair to characterize it as follows? And that is that y you accepted the speech as a favor uh, for, to an institution that you'll have a long history of interacting with, as opposed to a direct invitation from the Confucius Institute per se. Uh, that's exactly the truth, and I... Uh, work uh, very, very uh, committedly to get out the message about foreign affairs careers across uh, historical black colleges and universities as well as Hispanic universities because I strongly believe that our foreign service should be representative of America and Savannah gave me the opportunity to do that. And again, uh, the fact that this was associated with uh, the Confucius Institute was uh, truly a, a huge mistake on my part, uh, but it was not done as part of a Confucius Institute program. It was done so that I could continue my commitment to engage with uh, uh, historical black colleges and universities. Were you paid to give that? I was paid an honorarium by the university. Uh, it was an academic honorarium for my engagements with students. Um, may I ask, do you consider what's happening with Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang the, by the, the, what the Communist Party of, of, of China is doing there, do you believe they're guilty of genocide? What they're doing there has been referred to gen uh, as genocide, and I know that uh, the State Department is reviewing that as we speak. Uh, what they're doing is horrific. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing the results of, of the review that's being being done, but certainly it... Well, there's, the State Department issued a designation, I believe, mm -hmm. on the President's last day. So is, 
your understanding that it's now being reviewed by the State Department to see if that's appropriate? Or? I think the State Department is reviewing that now because all of the procedures were not followed, and I think that they're looking to make sure that they are followed to ensure that that designation uh, is held.